from the Cube Studios in Palo Alto and Boston. It's the Cube, covering empowering the autonomous enterprise. Brought to you by Oracle Consulting. Hi everybody, welcome back. You're watching the Cube. We go out to the events. We extract the signal from the noise. This is a very special digital event, and we're really covering the transformation, not only the industry but the transformation of Oracle Consulting and its rebirth. Mike Owens is here, Group VP of Cloud Advisory and GM of Oracle Elevate, which is a partnership that Oracle announced last Open World with Deloitte, and Don Schmidt is here, who's a managing director at Deloitte. Gents, good to see you, welcome. Good to be here, Dave. So, Don, I want to start with you. Uh, transformation, right? Everybody talks about that. Uh, there's a lot of trends going on in the industry. What do you guys see as the big gestalt transformation that's going on? Yeah, I think there's a, an inflection point right now, right? Everybody's been saying they want to get out of their data centers. Um, the leaps haven't really been taking place, right? They've been kind of moving in small bits. We're now at the point where large transformation at scale of getting out of your data centers is now here. So we are here to try to help our clients move faster. How can we do this more effectively, cost efficiently, and get them out of these data centers so they can move on with their day-to-day -day business? So data centers just not an efficient use of capital for your for your customers is what you're saying. No, no, there's lots of ways to, to do this a lot faster, cheaper, um, and, and get onto innovation. Spend your money there, not on hardware, floor space, power, cooling. Two you know, very well-known brands, you guys get together. So the, what was the sort of impetus to get together? How's it going? Give us the update on, on that front. Oracle has been really technology focused. It was really created by technologists, right? And Back to the point of what you're trying to do with the cloud and you're trying to do larger transformation, those aren't some of the skills that we have. We've been bringing in some of those skills in DNA, but if you look at it is, why would you try to recreate this situation? Why would you not partner with an organization who does large business transformation like a Deloitte, right? And so the, the impetus of that is, how do we take the technology with the business transformation, pull that together, and back to the one plus one equals three for my customer, right? That's what they really want. So how do we actually scale that and do really big things and get big outcomes for our customers? Our partnership is not about trying to take a bunch of customers and move a couple application workloads. Our job, what we're really chartered to do is really make huge transformational leaps for our customers using the combined capabilities of the two organizations. So this, it's a huge paradigm for us to kind of do this. And in, in our collaboration with the two organizations, just the opposite for what Mike just said, right? So Deloitte wasn't really big in big IT, right? Business-led transformation is kind of what Deloitte's been known for, right. along with our cyber practice. And so we needed the, the deep skills of the, the technical uh, experts. So you, you just described what I would think of as wave one. And then as you keep peeling, you got the applications, you got the business process, you might have you know, reorganizations, that's really where yeah. you guys have expertise, right? There's a lot of things out to sort through, right? And that's where the combined um, Elevate program really synergizes itself around the tools that we have. We both have tools that will help make sure we get this right, right? Uh, Deloitte has a product called Adadata, Oracle has a product called Soar. They marry together properly into this transformational journey to make sure we get the discovery done right and we get the migrations done right as well. Take me through a typical engagement, typical, I know in quotes, and then how long, like, take me through the point at which you get start to get business value. What do I got to do to get there? Yeah. So we see two different spectrums on, on a transformation, and it really aligns to what are your obje uh, objectives. Mm -hmm. You just need to get out of the data center because you're on archaic uh, dying hardware, or do you want to take that, take your time and make a little bit more of a transformation uh, journey, or do you want to play somewhere in the middle of, of that spectrum? Um, but yeah, on either one of those, we'll come in and we'll do a discovery uh, conversation. We'll understand what's in your data center, understand what the the age or the health of your your data center is, help the customers through a business case, a TCO how fast or how slow that journey needs to be for them. Create what we uh, call wave groups of how fast and we're going to sequence those over time to get out of their data center. In parallel, we're going to be doing, as Mike was saying, around all the operational aspects. So while we're doing that discovery, we want to start standing up their cloud uh, center of excellence. Getting cloud operations into their organization is uh, it's a, it's a different skill set for IT to have, right? They're going to need to retrain themselves, retool themselves, in the world of cloud. So we kind of do that in parallel. And then what we want to do is when we start a project, we want to start with a little POC or small little group of, of safe applications that we can prove out the model works. 
move those into the cloud. And then what we want to do is we want to scale that at, 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 at large pace, right? Um, get the IT savings, get the cost cuts um, out of the uh, organization. Do you guys have specific plays or campaigns that you know I can you know, do to get started, maybe do a little test case, uh, any particular offerings that can... So under the program of Elevate, we've, we've got a couple of campaigns. So the, the, the biggest one we, we've been talking about is around the data center transformation. So that's kind of the first campaign mm -hmm. that we're working on together. Um, the next one is around moving J.D. Edwards um, specific applications to, uh, to Oracle's cloud. And then the third one is around our analytics uh, offering that Deloitte has and how we're going to market to, to Genera, put that in as well. Those are our, our three major campaigns. The JDE migration, um, so you've got what? Situations where people have just yeah, and systems I would, I would, and they And wanna... I would say it's actually more of a JDE modernization, right? Okay. So you have an organization, right? They may have a JDE, JDE or JD, uh, JDE Edwards instance that's really, it's older, they maybe on version nine or something like yeah, that. Okay they don't want to go all the way to SaaS because they can't simplify the business processes. They need to do that, but they also want to take advantage of the higher level capabilities of cloud computing, mm -hmm. right? IoT, mobile, et cetera, right? So as a modernization, one of the things we're doing is an approach together. We work with customers, depending on where they're going, going, hey, great, you can actually modernize by taking up this version of JDE through an upgrade process, but that allows you to then to move it over to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure which allows you to actually tap into all those uh, platform services, the IoT and stuff like that, to take to the next level. Then you can actually do the higher level analytics that sits on top of that. So it's really a journey where the customer wants to get. There's various kind of four major phases that we can do or entry points with a customer on the JDE modernization. We kind of work them through. So that's a skill of some of the capabilities that Deloitte has as a deep JDE. Um, and as well as Oracle Consulting. Um, and we actually are going to market that together. Matter of fact, we're even at conferences together talking about our approaches here okay. in the near future. In the analytics uh, campaign, so it seems to me that a lot of companies don't have their data driven, you know, they, they want to be data driven, but they're not, you know, not there yet. And, and so their data is in silos, and so I would imagine that that's all about helping them understand where the data is, breaking down, busting down those silos and then actually putting in sort of a, a, an analytics approach that, that drives their, drives them from data to insights. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah fair. Yeah, it's not just uh, doing reporting and dashboards. It's, it's actually having KPI-driven insights into their information and their data within their organizations. And so the, uh, Deloitte has some pre-configured uh, applications uh, for uh, HR, finance, and supply chain. Thanks. Guys, two powerhouses, thanks so much for explaining in theCUBE and to our audience, appreciate it. Appreciate it, Dave. Yep. All right, thank and thank you everybody for watching. We'll be right back with our next guest. You're watching theCUBE from Chicago. We'll be right back right after this short break. Mm -hmm.